All right, so after many, many months and a bunch of videos, I finally got Kevin Bond's custom build done. This is the Kevin Bond custom build. It's a flame maple top, hand carved. Did a bunch of videos on that. Custom built neck with stainless steel frets. Kevin is a lace pickup artist and he sent me some lace pickups. Shaller fine tuning tailpiece with a roller bridge. Shaller locking tuners. I did put a string tree in here. I've got a bone nut, a five way switch that I cut myself. Some speed knobs, shaller locking nuts. And then on the back side, I coated the control cavity in copper paint to help shield it slightly. Did a basic neck plate and that beautiful neck. Did a belly cutout and a cutaway here to give you a little bit more access. And then just a basic chrome output jack. Guitar is a little bit lighter than I thought it would be, which was really, really good. If this was solid without the pieces cut out, it would have been a little bit too heavy. Plus, routing out the back here with the big channel helped lighten up the guitar body. Guitar is tuned down, which caused some issues with the action after I posted that video with you guys a couple days ago. I tuned it to the right key. He likes C-sharp. And there was a bit of fret buzz, so I actually ended up going back and doing a full level. When I was playing in the standard E tuning, I got enough tension on the neck that it was playing correctly. And then when I loosened it down, there wasn't that tension. There was a little bit of buzzing, specifically in the same spots that I had spot checked. But it was a just needed a full fret job. So I didn't realize when you're tuning so low that you would need the frets to be that perfect. So it was a good lesson learned. Didn't spend all that much time doing it. Fret racers helped significantly there. But the guitar sounds awesome, looks awesome. Really happy with the way the True Royal top came out. Love the coloring on the back. I think we're gonna be doing a neck through Les Paul PRS mashup with that color neck. Really love the coloring of the top. The True Royal really brought out the way this looks. So I'll plug this in and I'll give you guys some terrible C-sharp playing. So down here in the shop, I am playing through a Legend 50 watt amp with a Celestian Greenback. And that Greenback was in a flood. And I was lucky enough to save it. Tune down is pretty cool. I've never played that low. That was the bridge. Go to the neck. lace single coil pickups they are really outstanding And then this is the middle. Thank you. 
One of the cooler things out of Stu Mac is the chrome pickup rings. Really love using these, especially on the figure tops that I use. Can't find anything that's this good. I was going to cut clear plastic for these. Couldn't find anything even close to the way this looks. We thought about swapping out and putting a black ring here, but it was just too much black. I love stainless steel frets. I didn't really have that much of a tough time other than cutting. Once I got into the sandpaper, I thought the stainless steel worked fine, but it was really cutting that I was having most of my problem pushing them down, getting them uh, level on the sides was a little bit difficult. The uh, file jumped around a little bit. But once I got uh, the sandpaper out, I really enjoyed using the stainless steel fret. So this is the Kevin Bond custom build. Really enjoyed building it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video series. And we will see you in the next video.